Hi friends, as I told you, we would be discussing only one question and answer from today. As prelims is nearing, you may not have much time to practice for the mains. However, you should not completely leave the mains preparation. You should write at least one question per day for the mains to be in touch with the answer writing practice. So today, we will discuss the answer for question number 16 that I have given you yesterday. It is about, read the question carefully. It is about the elderly people in India. So the statement, they gave one statement that is, after retiring from formal employment, countries elderly people are forced to live a life of humiliation, abuses and isolation. So you have to write few lines on these statements. You have to say what is the common humiliation or abuses or isolation that elderly people in India are facing. Then second statement is, we are compelled to think about the living conditions of the aged from the economically weak sections. So, from the economically weaker sections, from the BPL, uh, among the uh, BPL uh, uh, people, what are the living conditions of these senior citizens? We have to elucidate. Elucidate in the sense, explain it with examples. Examples. So, as this falls under General Social Paper 1, it comes under the Society of India, Generally, society-based questions made with the old people or women or any anything else, I would suggest you to start with some statistics. If you know any statistics, in the introduction, you throw a few statistics and then explain them and then explain the statements given the question. So for this question, uh, I would say, regarding the old people, you write few numbers. You can say, almost 10% of the Indian population consists of the people above 60 years of age, which we define as the old people, as the senior citizens. So it comes to nearly 125 million people. However, by 2050, this number would be increasing a lot because the lifespan of Indians is increasing because of increasing health facilities, increasing science technology, the lifespan is increasing. The pyramid at present, the age pyramid is like this. So the top 60% population is just 10%. But by 2050, the pyramid would be all, almost like this. So maybe 20 to 25% of the population of India may consist of older people. Hence, it is high time that we think about the betterment, think about the you know better life for the old people. Also, the feminization is happening among the senior citizens. That means the sex ratio, the sex ratio of the uh, old people above 60 years almost 1033 females per every thousand males why it is happening because generally the lifespan of women is more that is why feminization is happening among the senior citizens of india you can say that uh, the problem in the lifestyle the problem to the to the senior citizens is happening mainly because of social transformation happening in India. That is because of urbanization, because of globalization, because of migration of young people to cities, leaving behind their parents in the villages. This problem is occurring. So you can just mention one or two lines about that. Now directly come to the statement given the question. The question says that most of the old in India are facing humiliation, abuse, isolation. You no need to spend uh, more lines on that. Just some half page. You can even draw a small diagram something like this and you can say you know the health health wise or social or you know financial wise what are the problems faced by the old people in India generally what are the what is the humiliation or abuse isolation that the given the, the, the given the question so you can say that uh, basically their basic needs are ignored by their children basic needs in the sense of proper food proper shelter proper clothing you know, clean room to stay has been denied to the old people. Similarly, the medical attention is not given properly. Maybe because the medical expenditure of the senior citizens increases, increases because of old age related problems. Also, in rural areas, the geriatric care, geriatric means the old, the old people, the geriatric care, the geriatric health care infrastructure is not properly available in the rural areas of India. Similarly, abusing has become quite common in India beating up the old people by the children, the daughter-in-law or son-in-law, whatever, and isolation. That means most of them are not allowed to meet their grandchildren or meet their neighbors, friends, relatives, isolated. It's quite common in India. Particularly for 
economically weaker section senior citizens similarly humiliation you know particularly the mentally ill old people old people generally may develop problems of neurosis or alzheimers or any other psychological problems and these mental, mentally ill old age people are mostly tied in some of the uh, families in india they tied or they are locked up in a room this kind of humiliation even they are forced to do household cares household chores i mean some some uh, uh, some children actually do not provide even the basic food for the elders who do not perform the household chores particularly this is more for the female senior citizens of india emotional blackmail is one thing and taking away their uh, maybe legal documents their savings their belongings their property mostly taken away by the children so these are the type of humiliation or abuse or isolation that the old people in india are going through now coming to the second statement in the question they actually ask you to analyze the living conditions of the senior citizens of india particularly from economically weaker sections you, you see as well foundation it's an ngo ngo what it says is most of the senior citizens of india are facing the humiliation because they lack they, they lack the awareness on their rights there are laws and policies in india that provide certain rights to the senior citizens however most of the old people are not aware of these rights aware of these rights similarly the women are harassed more why the old women are harassed more because one thing mostly women are illiterate illiterate second thing is their awareness levels are very low thirdly most of the uh, women are widows widows and widows have a low social status in the rural areas even throughout india and also women have more patience so they go through all this kind of humiliation mostly similarly the health financial social uh, problems faced by the old people health wise you can say the geriatric healthcare infrastructure is improper the medical facilities are not there even the they do not have enough income to meet the increasing health expenditure as they grow more than 60 years of uh, age similarly social socially you know they lack the entertainment and the children most isolate them they stay alone so overall health financial social problems of the uh, senior citizens of india are on rise are on rise similarly see in this kind of questions you have to mention the government policies or schemes or acts that are uh, there in india to solve these problems however you no need to spend much space for this just write just write one line about each scheme just highlighting that yes i know about the government schemes however their implementation shall be is not uh, uh, proper the implementation is improper you just write it in one or two lines you may say that for example pradhan mantri vaya vandana yojana this is subscription based pension scheme those who pay 1.5 lakh would be getting 1000 rupees pension monthly and those who pay 7.5 lakhs they would be getting almost 5000 per month as pension after they cross 60 years of age and here the center and state would divide the burden the economic burden 70% 20% even the varista pension bima yojana is similar to the pm vaya vandana yojana this is also a subscription based pension scheme then national old age pension scheme indira gandhi indira gandhi national old pension scheme this is not subscription based this is for all the bpl below poverty line uh, old people of india particularly widows and particularly disabled disabled however the amount given here is very less it has to be increased the rashtriya vayoshri yojana focuses on providing the aids and assistive devices like you know the hearing device or artificial teeth or any artificial limbs uh, required for the old people uh, through this scheme similarly the integrated program for old person actually takes care of their social financial and health care even entertainment needs however it's unable to meet all the old population of india as i told you it is more than you know almost like uh, uh, 20 million i think it is uh, around you know 120 million 120 million is a big number and it's difficult to meet the requirements of 120 million old people of india through any government scheme similarly there are few policies for example national policy on old people and national policy on senior citizens actually national policy clearly identifies the social the financial and health care problems of the old people however this policy could not completely uh, solve their problems particularly from the socially weaker sections who are not aware of their rights even the national program for health care of elderly is a is a good program in this direction however friends basically you have to say that 
senior citizens should be aware of their rights only then they can you know come out of these problems some of the rights you can say in the criminal procedure code section 125 clearly says that the old people can get the maintenance from the children if they if they are not provided the maintenance it's kind of criminal offense against the children similarly even the act maintenance and welfare of parents and senior citizens act 2007 mandates children to provide the maintenance for their parents or grandparents even at the united nation level there is a convention on the rights of older people even in the constitution of india part 4 the direct to principles of state policy particular article 41 46 talks about the rights of the old people however as you know dplsp are not enforceable but still provides a direction for the laws in india so you can mention this in some how some half paragraph and the finally i would say in society based questions you better conclude by giving suggestions and also conclude by giving some information some knowledge based uh, right to or three lines uh, it gives a good impression to the evaluator for example suggestions you can say just like how in the budget certain amount is allocated for northeast india or allocated for the scsts similarly in the budget certain funds shall be allocated for the old people of india similarly the pension for example indira gandhi national pension scheme uh, provides very less amount it shall be increased or increase the pension because you know because of inflation the pension is not indexed to the inflation it has to be indexed similarly the geriatric care in the rural areas the health care infrastructure shall be increased if possible if government cannot spend that much all the people in that village shall contribute to provide the health care for all the old people in that village even for the entertainment of the old people there should be certain parks clubs or facilities shall be available finally you can conclude with some two or three emotional interesting lines uh, that you feel regarding the old people of india you can say that compared to the government schemes it is the society it is the children it is the youth who have to understand about the old people so you have to sensitize the youth to love their parents love their grandparents similarly grandparents are like you know treasure troves of knowledge society can learn a lot from the experience in the joint families in fact grandparents actually transfer the morals to the youth you they teach the morals to the youth so that's why this uh, joint family system has more uh, moral values than the present day nuclear family system you can conclude in such a way okay friends coming to the 17th question for tomorrow for tomorrow it is general studies paper 2 international organizations united nations security council though this question was this kind of question means a question on unsc has been given several times in upsc still it is relevant question every year for example in 2021 india is selected as one of the non permanent member elections happened recently and india is selected in the elections india won the elections so in this context i am expecting this question to come in this year mains you can go this question write the answer in 10 minutes and listen to my answer tomorrow thank you friends